morning. Just gives me this look. It's good morning because we have not had lunch yet. It is a good morning. It is a good morning. She insists it's afternoon. She's also pointing out my second camera and go, hey, we should have the other camera going so we can show you guys gauges. Let's do that. Synchronization. The air horn is for synchronization. It's not bleeping out any curse words. It's I always use the air horn to synchronize the two videos. What's that? I'm giving away my video editing secrets. We are on Highway 3, eastbound. On the part of the highway I find the most boring. Basically, between Penticton and Castlegar, we drive this section of highway so often. I tend not to shoot too many videos here. I do a Soyuz because you guys request the Soyuz quite often, but... So we are... That was just the summit of Anarchist there. You guys probably saw the sign. Headed into Bridesvale. And then Rock Creek after that. There's a river right here that's fresh pork and beef. There's a farmer here that does fresh pork and beef. Space. Need a big freezer for that. Well, this 15th gear going to be too high of a gear. I thought 15th gear would work out, but we're gaining gaining speed. So yeah, 15th is probably too high of a gear. Should have gone 14th. I guess we're heavier than I thought. After Bridesville, I'll try to go to 14th. It's kind of holding it now, but I think as we go down this, I'll have to drag my brakes. Yeah, gaining some speed, so let's do 5 psi brake. I'm even hitting 5 PSI. Barely touching the brake. Beautiful day today. You know, we've been so spoiled this summer. Really good weather. And we're that smoky season that I promised we would get of all August. I'm glad I'm wrong. Ostriches. Ostriches over here, yeah. On the left hand side. Okay. Let's see if we can get 14th here this time.
probably gain speed, but I want to upshift as we go down. Try to be 100 where that minivan is right now, down on the bottom. So yeah, even 14 doesn't hold us, but... Come on, 15th, I didn't want to upshift. I don't know if the button's getting a little rusty. I think that worked out pretty good. to automatic mode, let the computer do the rest. Set cruise control. see my fuel consumption. Is that my fuel consumption right there? 10. Yeah, the sun's kind of... It, I'm not sure what the weather wants to do, if it's going to be stormy or not, but... It looks like the clouds are building, building, and building, so there's less and less blue sky, but we're still getting sun poking out here and there. <coughs> what is going on here? A slow motorcycle? <coughs> it's like one of those little mini bikes. <coughs> Now we haven't had lunch yet. I'm not sure if I'm hungry or if my stomach is upset. I'm like, yeah, I'll wait a little bit for food, but I think it's just a little bit hungry. Jess is looking at houses that are for sale. Trees. I'm like, we're far away from birch trees. I'm like, and what is that on the road? It's like a roadrunner. I don't know what that is. I really don't know what that is. <laughs> it's not quail. It's much bigger than quail. Not a bird I normally see here. neck so I don't know I've never seen a bird like that here but yes they were far away from any groceries any shopping centers over here I wouldn't mind living out here though have to drive to Penticton to do your shopping no, so this is shopping centers, yeah. So it wouldn't be that bad. And we could also do shopping while we're working. On a Friday if we're coming if we're coming from east to west over here, stop in Grand Forks and do some shopping. interested in buying a house. I just don't make a lot of money. Okay, let's go override and I hit the L button so it's going to pick the lowest gear it safely can pick. Huh? You make plenty of money. Just add up to 
Yeah, I do make, I make plenty enough money. I'm comfortable with the money I'm making. But anywhere over here to live, the cost of living is so expensive here. Like Penticton, you can't buy a house less than a half a million dollars. That's just a, a dump. The worst house in Penticton is likely worth a half a million dollars. Okay, I've got to jump out and do a brake check here. I will do a brake check video here sometime. Some, I know some of you have asked interest in this. I think it's a great idea to do the best practices of a brake check. I'll make my own, or make a separate video just doing a brake check on a day where I know I've got lots of extra time to make it to my destination. I'll do a full brake check video. Yeah, we got a long way to go today. We're headed to Fernie. Hitting that L button again to get a lowest gear possible and then back to drive. If you keep the L button in, it keeps downshifting so much that the uh, Jake brakes don't really have time to slow you down. So I usually hit the L button, lowest gear, and then back into drive. I moved my, my steering wheel. That means the camera view is all messed up. Okay, I'll see you guys in a few seconds. Okay, I'm back. Looks like my load shifted a little bit. I had to make an emergency brake earlier. Video synchronized. Drive. Third gear. There's a couple of cars coming. We'll go neutral. There's enough cars coming. Let us wait for them. <clears throat> I mean, I could go right now, but then that pickup would be on my bumper before I got up to speed. be going down here. I think 13th, hitting the manual button. <clears throat> no point in going faster than I want to go down in. Hopefully 13th is the right gear to choose. Flashers on. Oh, let's turn the engine brakes on. <laughs> Down into Rock Creek. You could come down this hill a lot quicker than I am if it wasn't for uh, the uh, hairpin corner halfway down. Right now 
now I'm really not using fuel. Jake brakes on highest setting. Going down. Gaining some speed though, so I will have to drag my brakes when we get a little further. speed because at the bottom of this hill we once again have to slow down to 50 so maybe let's just uh, pick up one more gear and take the rest of the way down at 12 heavy load. I'm not max out, but pretty heavy, so um, when we got lighter loads, you can come down here a lot quicker. When you're running empty, you can come down here full speed. And Jake breaks will you slow you down to the 50 if you start early enough. Okay, I know there's a car behind me because I saw the car there when I was, or when I was catching up with me. And then on the corners I can see the car, but it is so close behind me. When we're straight, it becomes invisible. Bumper, bumper bug. It's going to be a ornament on the rear bumper if I have to do another emergency brake. Yeah, I had to make an emergency brake in uh, just leaving Oliver, southbound at Oliver, fruit stand. RV had parked on the shoulder on the other side of the fruit stand and uh, almost got to the fruit stand and here they just walk into the roadway. They looked up at me as they were walking into the roadway and then started running and going, oh, we're about to die. So close. Yeah, they just came out of, there's other traffic parked by the fruit stand. They just popped out from the traffic from the parked vehicles, all of a sudden they're just there. It's like, shoot! Heart brakes, they ran, didn't hit anything. Gave me a heart attack. What are you doing, car? Hey, if you're gonna turn, get off the road. control I turn you on why not stay in at 50 huh that's a secret spot for restrooms the Petro pass oh you don't have to go into the gas station I never stopped there for the restroom I stopped for you, yes. You had a safety meeting? Yeah, I had a safety meeting over there. Yep, I pulled over and had my safety meeting there. Speaking of, this week is safety. I have to do a safety meeting this week. They have fresh 
bakery in there, yeah. It's, yeah. So today is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, what time, 11? 11. I think it's 11. Safety meeting Wednesday at 11. Usually our meetings are only like 20 minutes, 30 minutes long. Not too bad. And it's only once a month. We're looking for more volunteers. You volunteer? You can't be a volunteer. You better get uh, some truck drivers in and become a truck driver. Are you smashing things? things. <laughs> you gotta watch out for her. No kidding. Brakes were on setting one, and it's like, great. It's like, we're not slowing down very quick. Like, I don't normally need brakes for this corner. of traffic coming over there. I was kind of afraid I would be stuck behind traffic today. Okanagan Valley only takes one hour to get from Penticton to Osoyoos, but it was just busy. So, so many dangerous situations I saw myself possibly getting into. Traffic was doing their Sunday driving best to it's like three three situations where I'm like that would be fairly close. None like where pedestrians walk into the middle of the highway for without looking. That, that was that was dangerous. Bug splat. I guess we better clean him off before he dries on. Okay, that was a bad idea. I just smeared him all over. Guess he'll just stay there until we get to a fuel station and fuel up. Three quarter tanks, so. Fernie, where do I want to fuel up? What comes first? Okay, let's go past Elko. Is Je Jeffrey before or after Cranbrook? Hmm. I'll have to look at that. See where the last place into fuel last place into last place to fuel up is. Jeffrey doesn't have uh, 
DEF though, I don't think. There's a flying J there. I don't think they've got DEF there. Yeah, hopefully you guys find this scenery interesting. So we drive this highway so often, I don't really see the scenery anymore, so... I don't know if it's beautiful or not. lines here. Always wonder why there's black lines on the road. want me to stop at the scale and see how heavy we are? Oh wait, I don't think that reading works. I think the LED light is out. If I remember correct, it's not working. I'll take a look as we come to it. If it looks like it's on, we'll pull in. If, it, if it's off, there's no point. I don't know if it's LED. It's not even LED. Just the, the readout for the weight, I, I think, wasn't working last time we were going through here, so last week anyway. And then the question is, if they are on, can I see it soon enough to still safely stop? but I've never seen it open. But I hear people talking about it being open and a trucker path that shows it's open every now and then. Okay, there's an RV on there and the uh, light is not reading, so it is dark. Okay. Next time. Wagen Lumber. Wagen, is it Wagen Bros? Yeah, Wagen Bros. Sutko does a lot of moving there, Lumber. A lot. Many, many, many loads a day. Done a couple of those runs, but they're really day runs, right? So you get three or three, four, four or five runs a day. 
and all you do is go from here midway to Grand Forks drop off run back here back and forth you can get four or five runs in a day and then you're home every day if you live in Midway or Greenwood or Grand Forks so if you live in these three towns you could be home every single night and do these short runs back and forth over and over and over but I think I'd get so bored of doing those short runs so bored dry though. Everything looks very golden. I think I'd make sure there's no trees anywhere near my house in a place like this. If forest fire ever comes through here. I think I might also set up a sprinkler system for the roof of my house. Permanently installed. Are you just eating raw cheese curds? Who then? They're not squeaky, no? Uh, they should be squeaky, they're not squeaky. Yeah, the act of refrigerating them gets rid of the squeakiness. Always some fun corners here. The load this heavy, I don't think I can get close to the speed limit, but some fun corners here. After these corners, I think we'll call it a day. It is beautiful weather. I think it'll be a, be a nice day all the way to Fernie. And if it rains, I don't mind a little rain either. I quite enjoy rain. If you look at all the golden grass around here. I think we could use a bit of rain over here. I guess I could speed on here, but we're going uphill. I think I'll just keep full throttle. Uh, maybe not. Let's let it off a little bit. enough momentum to push me right up the hill. straining bowl. Big stainless steel straining bowl. But how does that get on a road? <laughs> uh, 
that is weird. Very weird. Hey, can I have another cheese curd? Those are actually pretty good. I guess cheese are probably good for your tummy if you're not sure if it's upset or not. Good idea. That's not a cheese curd, that's a cheese chunk. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the scenery. I guess it's pretty good looking. It's enjoyable scenery. Just because I'm bored of it doesn't mean you guys are. Head up to Fer head up to head down to up to well head to Fernie head to Fernie I think we're about 15 minutes ahead of schedule where I thought we should be about here so should have no problem making it there tonight that is a US load that is definitely a US load he's headed to the US So we should have no problem making it there tonight, find a place to park. I didn't really look up good places to park. I know we can't park on location. So we'll have to figure that out. I'll have to Google map it before we get there. Or, or just figure out, sometimes it's easier just driving there and figuring it out once we're there. To see places you can park. I have a backup plan. There's a bit of a rest area, tourist info place that I could sleep over there if I can't figure out anything else. So I do have a backup plan, but I would prefer something closer. Yeah, should be a good day. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the gauges, hit that thumbs up, leave me comments. Tell me how you feel about my automatic. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. No idea what I'm doing tomorrow. No idea at all. Fernie, we might be going to Elko, loading an Elko. That'd be my best guess. We might also be running empty to Creston and loading at Creston. Those are my two guesses. Tune in tomorrow, find out exactly what's going on.